A wrap on one of the most anticipated celestial events. The total solar eclipse did not disappoint. No, it did not. This image was taken by an Associated Press photographer with a telescope in North Texas. We got to see it today, Mia. And while most Houstonians did not get this spectacular view, some did get to see it from the air aboard a Southwest Airlines flight. Katira Winfrey met them at Hobby when they landed. Passengers on flight 1910 got quite the welcome at Southwest Gate 41. Rajiv Ajoda lives in Houston but flew to St. Louis just to come right back home. And I saw that Houston was a bit cloudy today, so I'm very happy that I made the choice to go fly it and see it uh, in the air. His next chance to see an eclipse in the U.S. is 20 years from now, so this trip didn't disappoint. Oh, it was phenomenal. Uh, it was some of the best, I think it was one of the best choices I've made to see it in the sky. Um, seeing the horizon go from light to dark it was great. Brandon Fredman had the same idea, but for him, St. Louis is home. He saw the eclipse in 2017 and figured he'd try out a new vantage point. It was really, really cool just to see. It's not something you see every day. Okay. And it was a great view of the land, kind of seeing what was like above and below. About 150 passengers and six flight crew members witnessed a whole two minutes of a full eclipse. Most people on board knew the flight plan and planned ahead, dressing the part. This passenger with her star covered dress. You wanted to blend in. You wanted to be a star in the sky. Well, I'm always a star, but yes, in the sky is better. And this one in his NASA shirt. Well, it's April and there's clouds and rain and all that. And I was like, you know what? The only way to seize it to get above the clouds and you know, I've never seen it before, so I saw it for the first time. It's pretty awesome. They say the pilots bank left and right, helping improve visibility for those not in those prime seats. And flight crews provided gift bags and pins reading, I got mooned. Reporting in Houston, Katira Winfrey, KHOU 11 News.